Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Friday, December the 31st, 2010. We're closing that year out. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Let's look at some Skycam imagery this morning, and uh, there's Birmingham shot. Uh, kind of looks like a cloudy morning, and it is a cloudy morning across central Alabama, although at Gadsden uh, there are a few breaks in the clouds as we look off, uh, looks like off towards the east a bit. And a very nice shot as we look at the cloudy skies over the Fayette County Courthouse. The surface map continues to show high pressure off to our east, and that is certainly pumping moisture all the way up into southeastern Canada, directly from the Gulf of Mexico. We have a complex weather pattern off to the west with uh, a number of surface lows and a very deep upper system that you can see on the 500 millibar chart this morning, along with the water vapor imagery. And you can see the uh, long stream of moisture coming all the way from the Pacific uh, across the Gulf Coast of Texas and up into uh, northern Alabama this morning. And we do see a few patches of light rain on radar, but most of the patches are fairly light and off to our west. And I think for the most part, most of the precipitation stays off to our west today. Along with the moisture that the high is pumping into the eastern half of the country, it is also pumping in a bit of warmth. Look at these temperatures. My gosh, 40s all the way up. Uh, to Chicago for, remember, these are 5 a.m. temperatures too. Uh, but of course, a very cold system out west and uh, a little bit uh, closer to home here. Temperatures more like highs at 5 a.m. Uh, with temperatures primarily in the 50s across central Alabama, uh, Birmingham and Tuscaloosa at 57. And those are more reminiscent of the kind of temperatures we see for afternoon highs. Watch warning map continues to show a progression of a large number of winter weather advisories, watches and warnings in effect uh, from all the way from the Colorado and Kansas area all the way up to uh, Canada. And in addition to that, we have, we have a tornado watch in effect in the central part of the United States in the Central Plains area. Now, on the QPF-wise, we're going to have some rain, and that's going to come primarily late tonight and into Saturday as a front slowly traverses the area. And as it does, we're going to see uh, a good deal of rain on the order of uh, one to two inches with the potential for some spots getting a little bit more than that. Uh, so uh, it's going to be a wet start to the beginning of the year. In addition to that, there is somewhat of a marginal uh, possibility of uh, severe weather as outlined by the slight risk area, which takes in about the western half of the state of Alabama. Uh, I think... The risk is definitely there. I think it is somewhat marginal, and the main threat would be uh, damaging wind. Uh, so uh, we'll be watching that, and you can stay tuned to the blog for later information. All right, here's the 06E GFS model run, and you can see uh, the moisture and the rain coming up the, the uh, lower Mississippi River Valley ahead of that uh, frontal system, kind of a prefrontal kind of situation. The closed low and the trough get closer to us, and of course, uh, as it does, uh, with that threat of uh, severe weather for today, we see a pretty good uh, area of divergence aloft, uh, which will help to uh, fuel whatever convection can get going. Uh, and so the, as the trough gets closer, the front will move on through, but it will be slow. Cold air staying off to the northwest, so there's no uh, threat of any kind of wintry precipitation for us. Now, the uh, closed low uh, gets all the way up into Canada, and as the trough comes on by on Sunday, that should be enough to sweep the moisture as well as the front uh, off to our east and to the south. So it looks like that question mark we've had for the last few days is uh, going to be answered, that it's going to go ahead and make it um, away from us. So we should uh, turn drier, at least dry in terms of rain, on uh, Sunday, even though we may stick around with some clouds. Now, the flow quickly goes zonal for us on uh, Monday, and that we've been forecasting that for quite some time, and that seems to be the look. And that, with a surface high under that zonal flow, we should stay dry on Monday and dry again on Tuesday. But some moisture kind of creeps in that uh, is coming out of the Pacific. And then by 
Wednesday, we see uh, this is kind of a change from what the GFS was forecasting yesterday. We see a nice shortwave trough coming through the flow. Uh, again, this is Wednesday, and uh, with that, it's mostly dry, but moisture in that southwesterly portion of the flow, the southern stream, is being picked up, and that could create uh, a day with a, a, a fairly good chance for some showers on Wednesday. Uh, the trough really deepens up, and this is the this is the change that we're seeing now in the GFS solution for what is going to be happening. The trough really deepens up over here as that uh, closed low off the southwest U.S. coast gets cut off, gets uh, uh, lost in the flow, and that means that we should turn uh, appreciably colder, uh, which was not kind of what the GFS was suggesting in the longer range for. Uh, the uh, run yesterday, but you see the 540 line coming down into northern Alabama. Uh, again, that trough uh, really digs in uh, across the eastern half of the country with some pretty uh, strong energy coming through that flow. Uh, and that, if nothing else, it's at least going to keep us pretty chilly around the 7th. And then, uh, and that's uh, you know a week out, so we're getting on the verge of voodoo. And then we've got some interesting changes once again. We do go back to zonal. Now the GFS has been pretty consistent with this, of taking us back to zonal around the 10th or 11th of January. But another change is that this is a much colder pattern looking here, and with the presence of moisture, uh, the GFS at the surface is indicating the possibility of some wintry problems across the southeastern U.S. Now, this is voodoo. This is all the way out to the end of the period, so we're not putting a great deal of faith in it just yet. Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted by 7.30 or 8 tomorrow morning. Hope that you have a great day and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.